You are going to love my adorable window pane tea cookies. And really the foundation is a go-to sugar cutout cookie. I'm going to start by sifting half a cup of icing sugar. And I'll add this to my one cup of unsalted butter that is softened and already in my bowl. In order for the cutout cookies to hold their shape, I have no added liquid, not even egg. So I don't even wanna add a little bit of extract. For the flavor, the vanilla bean does the trick. Scrape that with the back of my knife, add that. And I'll beat this starting on low speed, simply because of the icing sugar, and then increase the speed. There we go. My butter sugar mixture is nice and fluffy, and then I can add my dry ingredients. Starting with one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. One of the secrets to a really tender shortbread recipe is adding cornstarch. Here I add a quarter of a cup, a half a teaspoon of salt, and right into my mixing bowl. Again, I'll start on low, then increase the speed, but I just need to mix it until everything's evenly combined. There we go. Now, with that quantity of butter, this dough is too soft to roll right away, so you wanna make it ahead and give it time to chill. Now, I'll divide the dough into two pieces and wrap each up to pop in the fridge. You wanna give this a minimum of two hours, And I have some chilled and ready to roll. But before I do that, I want to get the window panes all ready. These cookies have a see-through center of candy. And they're easy to make because all you have to do is take a flavored clear candy. Then give them a little crush. And then I like to take a rolling pin just to get as fine a crumb as I can. Oh, you don't have to be shy here. You can work out a few frustrations, but just watch your fingertips. And the blue. And even though you want to roll this dough cold, you'll find it rolls easier if you just take a second and just soften it slightly. It's also a very forgiving dough, so this is perfect to jump in with the kids and get them rolling and cutting out their favorite shapes. Start with short rolling motions and keep rotating the dough, that way you know it won't stick. So, I'm gonna start with some flowers. And I'm also going to make my little window in the center of each. The second tray, I'm going to do diamond cutouts. Diamond cutters. Now it's time for the final step before they go in the oven, putting in the crushed candies. You want to put a fair bit in because it melts into quite a thin, flat layer. And it sets up exactly as it started, as a hard candy. A little blue. A buttery shortbread cookie like this does brown easily, so I bake it in a low temperature oven, 300 degrees, and I give them about 18 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on them. The minute you see browning around the outside edge, it's time to pull them out. Now you can put the trays on a cooling rack, but don't try and lift the cookies off of the tray. That sugar center, until the cookie cools, will be liquid, and it won't stay in place.
Here they are, cooled completely. And aren't these just the cutest? Look at that, hard sugar sets up and you've got that transparent window, the light shines through it. Won't they look so pretty on a plate? And for that added touch, how about some royal icing? Now this is simply meringue powder, a little bit of water and icing sugar, beat up until it's pipeable and smooth. And then you want to give the icing about an hour or two to air dry before you stack them up together. The great thing about a cookie like this, it'll keep for days in an airtight container, so you can make them ahead of time. The hard part is keeping the hands off of them. And a sweet cookie like this pairs wonderfully with an iced fruit tea.